just released police dash cam video is raising disturbing questions about a fatal accident involving the wife of embattled Senator Bob Menendez. The date, December 2018. Nadine and Senator Menendez are dating, but not yet married. I want to get you home and comfortable and not here anymore. Nadine had just struck and killed a 49-year-old pedestrian with her Mercedes. This is the spot where the accident happened in New Jersey. The victim had just gotten out of his Uber and was crossing the street to his front door when he was struck. Following the accident, Nadine Menendez does not get out of the car to help the victim and doesn't call 911 for four minutes. Some guy just jumped in front of my car on my windshield. Okay, what's the address? I, I, I don't know. A car just came up. Attorney Sherry Breen represents the estate of the victim, Richard Coop. I think that that's really showing of, of someone who has no regard for life or for the injuries that she caused because of her negligence. He jumped on my windshield. Yeah. Okay. Cops did not give her a sobriety test, and she refused point blank to show them her phone. You do not want to give me your phone, correct? Yeah. Her phone would have told cops if she was distracted at the moment of impact. Were you looking at an email? Were you, you know, dialing a, a call? Um, in this case, we don't know if she was on the phone at all. But the subpoena for the phone records would say what was the phone activity at the time of the accident. We got to get through. Come on, guys. Give us some space. The incident has resurfaced because, get this, federal prosecutors say the couple were bribed with a new Mercedes to replace the wrecked Mercedes. Menendez was asked about the incident at the Capitol. Well, that was a tragic accident, and um, uh, obviously uh, we think of the family. Both Bob and Nadine Menendez deny any wrongdoing in regards to the alleged bribery scheme.